Hi, I'm Swanik Kashyap from the channel of Brainy Presentation. Now, today in this video, I will be going to teach you a zoom animation with a pin country. And this animation, I have done this animation in Office 365. So, uh, if you want uh, to me to bring more such interactive presentation videos, then you have to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and choose the bell icon option to all so that you all can get the notifications of my video now this zoom animation with pin country uh, somehow looks like this uh, on a click the country of Europe gets uh, highlighted and when on a second click uh, a, uh, a flag comes from down uh, which indicates and pins to the country of Italy and in with respect to and with respect to COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, this box is showing the data of total cases in Italy that are 2,19,083 and total deaths confirmed are 30,589 uh, so this data is uh, actually confirmed with the date of 10th May so if anyone watches my video after two to three days then uh, this information will be old for him so you can pin any other of your countries as you like so I am pressing S on my computer and now we'll learn how to create this beautiful uh, animation with a pin country so firstly we need to have a world map and how to choose a world map you can go to you can go to chrome and uh, have a picture of world map and save it to your document and then you can insert to this slide with the help of this pictures option or you are always welcome to have online pictures so first let us go to home and we need to uh, uh, take the oval tool from this basic shapes gallery I am going to select it and whichever country you want to uh, highlight and zoom and want to pin uh, so this is all on a, all on your hands so for this video purpose only I am selecting this country of Europe and make sure that this whole circle fills up the space of Europe so I think this much is okay for me okay so now I am selecting this circle and now I am going to the option of shape fill and in the shape fill I am saying it to no fill and in shape outline I am going to say I am going to have a black outline and I can always increase the weight of this border of the line so that the highlighted part could uh, demarcate the selected area so let us select the six points uh, in the previous video also I told you so to that you all can choose this mold lens option if you want to but I highly recommend to choose the six points only as this is very much clearer and very much demarcating for my personal opinion so I'm going to select this now what we're gonna do is that we'll leave it aside and now we'll have to create a duplicate copy of this particular slide so I'm right clicking on the slide in the thumbnails area and now I'm going to say it to duplicate now I am in the second duplicated slide so <laughs> let us select this picture and go in the under the format tab and in the format tab you come to size option and here in the size option you can see a crop tool I'm not going to uh, just directly click on this crop tool I'm going on this small arrow which brings me out a um, small drop down box and I'm going to first say first say to crop it to the particular shape so I'm choosing the previous shape which I have earlier drawn to demarcate this land of Europe so I'm pressing on oval so as you can see that this whole world map is uh, cropped into a oval shape now instead of this elliptical shape 
I'm again going in the crop tool and now I'm going in the aspect ratio and in the one is to one as I have to choose a perfectly marked circle over here so I'm going to say to one is to one of ratio and as you can see that the whole world map is cropped into a perfect one is to one ratio circle now I'm going to uh, take some minor adjustments do some minor and major adjustments <coughs> to only focus on the uh, pointer that we have drawn earlier so I am using this handle at the top here and just I am pressing the left mouse button and now I am bringing it down here then I will choose this handle to bring it all the over here then I am choosing this one handle this handle to do like this again this handle to fit this like this so yeah this is perfectly done and when I will click anywhere on my home page of office 365 it will automatically the rest of the picture is automatically vanished and the cropped area which we have chosen is only left so I am stretching my left arrow my I'm clicking left click on my mouse and dragging and dragging the mouse oh, across this these two shapes and it will automatically choose these two shapes so now I am pressing control X on my computer <coughs> which is the shortcut way of cutting and picture and I am uh, again coming back to my previous slide and I will press Control V which is the shortcut for paste and now uh, some design ideas are coming sorry and now I will automatically place it over the selected arrow which uh, selected circle which we have chosen so I am going to delete this circle and now I am going to place it over here alright this is perfect so now we need to have a flag over here and a box over here so there is no need of this slide so I'm going to uh, delete this slide and now I'm coming back to my previous slide <laughs> now to insert the arrow which I have chosen uh, before inserting this arrow I am going to add some animations to these two objects so I'm selecting so I'm selecting this these two shapes and now I'm going under the animations tool and in the animations I I will first open the animation pane so you all can follow me I'm selecting these two objects and now I'm going to say grow shrink option now as you can see that it is uh, growing and it is highlighting and zooming the selected area <laughs> so this uh, our 40% uh, work is done now rest of the work we have to do so now we have to choose only this circle and now we are going to the add animations uh, add animation and now I am uh, going under the entrance option and say it to wheel so as you can see that it is very much perfect for us now we have to do some adjustments I will bring this uh, oval which is with the animation of wheel to the first and these two I am going to set it to after previous <coughs> and if you want then you can uh, adjust the duration and delay of these so, but I highly recommend to just uh, just don't touch these duration and delay and we set them into default only 
now we're gonna play this so as you can see the first the uh, circle which is acts a, which acts as a magnifier here and entries with a wheel animation and after that and after that immediately these two uh, these two objects magnified and zoomed in so 50% work is done now we need to add a arrow to here now I'm going under the insert tab and here in the insert tab I'm going to first to insert this arrow I need a text box tool so I'm going here in the text box I'm selecting this text box under the basic shapes gallery and now I will select it anywhere on my slide and now I'm again going under the insert option then I'm pressing this symbol and if you have normal text as default then only you will you have to type wing dings and in wing dings you will be able to see here there are two types of flags if anyone is your favorite then you can take but I highly recommend to choose this pointed flag so yeah this is inserted and now I'm pressing ctrl A on my com lap on my keyboard and now it will select this uh, flag and now I'm going to say it to color of red and now I'm going to increase it as you can see that you all will be thinking that this is the drop down menu for font only so basically this symbol is only our font so you can do it so you can adjust its size to 72 66 or 80 so I'm going to choose 72 now I will be now I will be choosing this arrow all the way to somewhere beside the country of Italy or any country that you want if, if say for example you are choosing for uh, Spain or Portugal then you have to uh, place it uh, just beside some centimeters or some millimeters aside from it as you have seen in the earlier animation that it used to grow and zoom in so we have to uh, place it uh, some millimeters uh, beside only so this is done now I'm pressing F5 on my uh, keyboard to see the preview of it yeah. so as you can see that this uh, Italy was zoom in so our flag is adjust uh, we have to adjust this to somehow more beside to the country of Italy so let us press S and now uh, okay now I'm pressing shift F5 so as you can see here that it is perfectly in the middle of Italy so this thing you have to remember very very much now we need to have a box which holds the information about this country so I'm going under the basic shapes gallery and now I'm choosing this simple rectangle tool and drawing it, drawing it just beside to the flag you can extend it more and select this say shape fill as orange red uh, whichever color you want so I highly recommend to do not choose the blue color as the ocean and water bodies of this map are blue only so I highly recommend to choose any other different vibrant color so I'm choosing here orange and shape outline say no outline and just place it somewhere here somewhere nearer and now 
we need to add some text over here so you can uh, select this text box and right click on this to log uh, in this you can log drawing mode and select this if you want then you can add text box and write the information about it so for this video purpose only I am uh, selecting I am only uh, copying this previous text box and inserting by pressing control V control C now here control V <coughs> as you can see that the in uh, text box is not inserting so for all of you <coughs> so it is perfectly inserted here uh, if you want with respect to COVID-19 or coronavirus if you are presenting it uh, anywhere in social if you are a social worker or a business presenter and you want to uh, social, uh, show some details to your company about the coronavirus or COVID-19 uh, uh, what are the basic effects and what are the total cases in a particular country so you can choose uh, total cases the total recovery or deaths uh, it is all in your hands so now let's add animation to this flag and this a box so first let us uh, go with this um, flag under the animations one I'm selecting drop down arrow and now here you will see uh, more entrance effects and now in more entrance effects you can choose peek in or fly in so if you want then you can choose fly in okay this is perfect and now I'm choosing this uh, box and uh, holding down the shift button to select this text box and now you have to press ctrl G on your keyboard to group them both together now I'm adding an uh, animation to it so say to it to uh, teeter and in teeter it will somehow shake it because the co this pandemic COVID-19 has shaken all the world with its dynamic effect so if you want then you can add animations and go to more entrance effects and say uh, say diamond so okay so I am uh, reordering the animation so please notice on the animation pane I am selecting this and moving it to the up of the number 3 ok so now I am going to play all at once so as you can see ok ok perfect then I have to choose this text box to on click only and when I go to this group 10 I need to do it to after previous and do this also and now do this with previous so let us see the animations once ok on on a click it reflects and demarcates on a second click it brings here ok so yeah this was the whole animation of today's video and I hope you all liked my today's video of uh, zoom animation with a pinned country and if you are a business presenter or a student in your school then if the school reopens then if your schools your offices reopens then you can show this to your dear ones your relatives your friends and you can choose and you can play this animation anywhere you want to uh, highlight a specific country and uh, show some details about it in a 
rectangle or any of the text boxes so i hope you all liked my video so it's a humble request to everyone so to please 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 uh, subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and select it to the options of all and give as many eggs as likes because your likes and your subscribes only motivates me to bring such interactive videos for you so for today uh, bye everyone stay home stay safe and god bless you all